Spawning in the top left hand corner of the map King Zhejiang Station, we find our red Zerg player from Team Acer who is currently with his back against the wall, it is Nerd Show. He really needs to step it up if he wants to beat Yoda in these games. But his opponent Yoda, the orange Terran player who is currently in the bottom right corner of the map, who is up to no good, has spawned here. So Yoda, currently two points up over Nerd Show. He's already sent out a very early scout, so this is well. This is going to be an eight, eight, eight from Yoda, getting that supply depot at eight supply already. Following that up with a barracks and that refinery, you need to do damage with that. But Yoda used this strategy against a laser. I, I don't think that he really got a big advantage in that, but big enough that he could take the win. Although he does change his barracks location where he wants to build that reaper from. But he will get it going. And the refinery starts at home. Now, Nurcho is a player that likes to get his spawning pool up at 15 supply anyway. So, let's see where this will be going right now. This time, oh, he is opting to go for the hatchery first. And this is going to hurt him quite a bit. This might be the end of this tournament right here and now if Nurcio cannot hold on here because the Reaper will come down very soon there's almost 50 gas uh, for Yoda in the bank he's almost having that barracks finished up right now and once he has Reaper will start yes if he will still go for the scout and this has not been spotted at all this overlord is not going to spot anything until it reaches this point where he is missing the, uh, where he's going to be missing the the barracks, of course. But the bunker, even being built inside the main base, not being spotted by Nurcho. This is going to be as bad as it possibly can be. Natural base is going to be up and running, but the, well, even the drone is going to scout forward to see what is going on. He, oh, he would have scouted it if he would go a little bit further. He spots the Reaper and he knows he's going to be in trouble. Natural base, you might as well let it finish. Even get an extractor there just to not lose a drone. But there is a bunker even here where the that's gonna be a little hospital for the Reaper. The Reaper will be able to retreat in there and well if it's low on health it can regenerate that health. Only drone surrounds can be very painful, but that Reaper is getting kill after kill. The SCP will get picked off. And, well, there are now some Zerglings out, but the Reaper will still start picking away at the Zerglings, will start picking away at the drones, and at least the SCV was killed off, so no repairs are going to be possible on that bunker, but this is still going to be a very tight hole. The Queen is about to finish up. There's a second Reaper here, there's a third Reaper going to be on the way. And three Reapers do get a lot of damage done. The Reapers will start working on the Queen. But no Zergling speed is going to be on the way anytime soon. He does have an extract, but that's a natural base. Oh, a nice surround from the Zerglings on top of that bunker. Will he just hold it right here? Well, still... Oh, even one of the Reapers does get picked off. There's too many Zerglings here to hold that off. And he might have just hold, held here. And that would be a very good position for Nurture. Because this was... Well, it was a big economic sacrifice to make. But we do see now that the factory is going to come down back at home. Also, a command center being built at the natural base. So he's transitioning out of this. Two Reapers are still going to be alive. They will be start be able to poke a little bit. But at least the natural base is already up. And well, if Nurture wants that gas, he can st just start mining from it at his natural base. So that was pretty decent, actually. No Queen was sniped. He lost two workers, I do believe. Well, three workers in total. But Nurture losing one of his own SEV. Or Yoda losing one of his own SEVs. And he lost one of the Reapers already. And did the Reapers... No, the Reapers are just at the back door. There are Zerglings waiting for them. So at the same time, four Zerglings going to go towards the natural base of Yoda to see if they can pick off something. But with a full wall of done, I don't think that he can do a whole lot of damage. But Yoda even going to go for a third command center here. He does not care. He is just going to macro out of this. There's no way that these Zerglings are going to bust through this wall anytime soon. Especially because Hellions should start very soon. He can start, or start one of them at least, but he wants to continue producing those SEVs, so he needs to wait for the commands that be done. Get rid of his supply block. But 
Currently looking at the supplies, we do see Nurture being at 50 supply, 36 workers at, those, at, at that, and 15 army supplies, so both... Oh, he's doubling the army supply of Yoda, and he still has quite a few workers more. He can start his third base quite early on, might even just go for the big aggression, and it looks like he is. Bailey Ness is going to come down. No Roach Warren still, though, but Zerglings, uh, Speedlings, and Bailing's still going to be pretty okay. Hellions are going to go the long way around just to avoid any Zerglings. The Viking has been made to clear out the skies for, from that Overlord a little bit. But the game will normalize a little bit. We'll just have to wait and see how many Zerglings Nurture is producing. The answer is going to be a lot. He, he's pulling them up at his natural base because he does not want Yoda to scout this out just yet. He still has the economic lead. He would have gotten a great position between the, uh, the extractor and the wall of, of course. But he is not even showing all of his Zerglings. He does not want to reveal them. He is waiting for Zergling speed to be done, and it is going to be done now. He's going to surround all of these Hellions in no time, and they get picked off for pretty much free. R resource loss tab still pretty much equal. Wall off at the natural base is not done at this point, but he's already moving forward with a few of those Zerglings. And how many Zerglings are currently on the map? 49 Zerglings against two Hellions, a Viking, and one Marine. This wall off is going to be the most important hole for Yoda in this entire game. And let's see if he's going to be able to hold this. The Hellion doing so much splash damage from the behind, but he is busting through. Getting a surround on the Hellion is going to be, well, it's going to be pretty much game over. He can more bailings in case he, he needs to, to bust through that wall on the high ground. And now also the bailings are going to move through. The third base is even going to be taken behind this, but he is going to bust through that wall towards the natural base. And his worker line is going to get ransacked. One Hellion against this amount of Bane. He's not going to do it. And there's a GG. Nurcio takes a game back. Still a 2-1 lead for Yoda. But this is the start of a comeback. So let's see how game number four will go for him.